Nicole here, and this week's topic is invite a friend and discuss gender. So this is the friend that I picked. Hello, I'm Melanie. This is Melanie. We've been friends for about nine months, almost a year, getting to that mark. But um, I thought it'd be interesting to discuss gender with Melanie because she is identifies a lot differently than I do, and she's not really a part of the core queer community. So I thought it'd be interesting to hear her sort of um, ideas on gender and also kind of how what her perception was, you know, upon meeting me and learning about all this crazy queer gender stuff. So, um, let's see, the first thing I'm going to ask is, what is your gender identity and preferred pronoun? Uh, I identify as a female, cisgender. Cisgender female, <laughs> alright, yes. excellent. And how did you think of gender before meeting me or did you think about gender at all in general? Um, like, you know, I had, like, heard about people having issues identifying, but I never knew anyone, mm -hmm. so I didn't really know that much about it, you know, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. I didn't really, like, I was just indifferent about it, because I didn't right. know. You didn't know anyone close to you that was trans, genderqueer, etc., and do you think that having a queer friend has changed anything that you thought of of gender? Like, do you think of gender in a different way now, or are you still kind of indifferent? No, I'm definitely, like, more enlightened on the topic, obviously. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, I think that I've become, like, more accepting of people. Mm -hmm. Not that I wasn't as accepting, well, I guess I wasn't, but, you know, like, I just know more now, right? And I understand like why mm -hmm. more than mm -hmm. just just like what it is, you know. I don't know. So so education really helped you a lot in finding out kind of how people identified and you know actually connecting with them in a certain way as opposed to oh well trans is something that I've heard of but it's not actually something that is actively a part of my life, right? Etc. Interesting. Okay, and um, how do you think, you know, because of all this gender stuff, I know that you're, you know, identifies like a straight female, um, and how do you, how do you feel like, do you feel like that you fit into gender in any um, kind of different way than other cisgender females? Like, do you feel akin to them, or do you feel like a different breed altogether? I kind of feel like I do my own thing, right. you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, I go gr against the grain a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. I agree with that. You know, I don't conform, obviously, but I'm in a wheelchair, so, you know, like you, I'm a minority, so right. I understand a lot of the stuff that you go through mm -hmm. because we're basically in the same boat in a different way. Yeah, no, I totally agree, and I thought about that, actually, before I thought about that with you, and I, felt, I feel, also feel really... Um, the mystics. Yeah, I feel akin to you also because I do feel like that you understand me in some ways that other people could never understand. You know, being, um, I know it's not the same, you know, with physical versus maybe a mental type of issue, but it still puts us in that category of minority and different and uh, hard to understand. Acceptance. Exactly. And, and like they're Yeah, and, and both of us get the stares here and there, you know. Yeah. So, I think we get that about each other. Um, now, what are some things that you like about our friendship? Um, I think that we're really raw around each other. <laughs> Maybe a little too raw for some people, but you know. It's true. It's true. We're crass. <laughs> we like it. Um, but you know, and we have good discussions mm -hmm. about stuff. You know, you're not like just a good friend and are there for me, mm -hmm. but you know, you challenge me mm -hmm. and, and I think, you know, we have good discussions. And I agree. I agree with that. Do you have any questions for me about gender and friendship? Um, like, I was going to talk about the fact that, um, I know with, like, we're actually going to school together. We're both in the music therapy department. So I feel like it's been a lot easier for me to transition into that department because I had Melanie with me. Mm -hmm. um, and I was able to have some kind of uh, connection to the place, you know, and I feel like I'm less um, of an outcast because she's there. So that's nice to have that friendly face oh. and all of that stuff. But it is hard to come out of gender queer because I was going to talk a little bit about how I came out to Melanie. It was awkward because I was just starting to come out as gender queer to like the majority of people in my life. I mean, I had been 
I did apply my standard career for maybe like a year or two prior, probably about a year. Um, but, you know, when I did uh, start coming out, it was really uh, nerve-wracking because I didn't really know how to explain it in a, in a, in a way that was going to make a lot of sense, that was going to differentiate me from like the typical trans person. Um, and I think my journey is a lot different than, say, you know, a typical trans person's would be. And I know that when I told Melanie, you know, I kind of was like, hey, I'm stand binding and stuff like that, and I don't know how else to talk about this or bring this up right now. But, um, you know, she was really accepting of me, and I really appreciated that. And I knew that we were off to a good start when she could handle my awkward coming out-ness. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I first met you, it was like in the hallway before this choir audition, and you just like immediately started talking to me and I was like, oh, she's cool, you know, and you were like, I used to be a music major, but there's just too many issues about my gender mm -hmm. and all that. And I was just like, what? Yeah. I'm like, you're crazy, girl. <laughs> so, but now you're a music major. Again, yes, so. I am. It's much better. It's good yeah. times. But actually, I'm much more accepted than I thought I would be in the department. See? Um, <laughs> overall, you know, I think people just are more indifferent. Sick, yeah. I know that said uh, on Monday that a lot of people are indifferent uh, to gender issues or they say that you should just not label yourself. Like, well, why do you feel like it's necessary to do that? Well, maybe it's not about the other people, you know? I think that, that having an identity is such an important and core value to have. And it's if you don't have that, if you don't have that identity, that self-awareness and that ability to be able to explain that, not only to yourself but to others, then what do you have? I mean, what type of relationships can you forge with people if you don't have a way to fit in even in your own mind and in the in you know society in general so i thought that was an interesting point that sick brought up there but um i think that's about all the questions i have I for melanie today but she has another point so i'll let her continue yes <laughs> i was gonna mention how i was talking to nicole yesterday about i was watching the news with my mom and they said that they're redoing all these comics and like redoing all the stories and the outfits and everything and they said that Batwoman was going to be a lesbian and my mom was like oh my god like why <laughs> that's just that's just wrong <laughs> and I was like I think it's kind of cool and she was like you do <laughs> and I was like hell yeah <laughs> and she was like okay okay so, <laughs> well, that's so you know I think that you definitely had an impact on me because yeah. I don't know if I would have said that before right. being like so close to you and right. you know, I think it definitely gets closer to home. Now that we're oh, I love you. I love you. I love her. Anyway, okay, so this has been Melanie, Nicole, and we're signing off. So have an amazing Wednesday today, and I wish you guys the best. Bye. Bye. Sigma was talking about that on Monday about how, you know, a lot of times people just don't really care. And you do get a lot. I also, Sigma said something about um, how people uh, are like, oh, you're. Uh, oh, damn, I, that out. <laughs> I hate when I mess up. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first blooper.